Hello everyone, it's Miss Liz. Um, today I'm just doing a very short uh, video on how I uh, prepare my the extra uh, tips or cards or whatever, depending on what a person buys from my shop. And um, it's my dogs, I think somebody's coming in. Um, I'm just preparing to, um, come on, be quiet. Just showing you, uh, like these tags right here I have, I, I cut them out from some of my, um, book, uh, paper pads that are from Carstack, which you get like in Joanne's and Hobby Lobby, Michael's, craft stores. Or something from a collage sheet that I, I uh, sew around it. And or just a card that I cut out from one of my collage sheets, which is also on the internet. But what I do is that um, some of them I stamp them, some of them I sew. So I just want to show you how I take um, a stamp of uh, to go with what something more or less like what somebody orders from me this is an order right here when you see the it's a tag both cards from a uh, set of four from Marie Antoinette and this is a Marie Antoinette stamp so I will take maybe a, a clear one or one like this stop it and um, and I will stamp it so I'll have to get um, this one is the pot and soil from, um, it's an archival link from Ranger. So I'll just use this one here. Make sure I get enough ink on it. And, um, and I'll stamp on it that tag right there. Let me get this one out of the way. And make sure that um, I get the face in there and everything else. Because the ink is um, dark enough. So let's see. Yes. So then I have a, a Marie Antoinette on there right now, right? But um, I, I also, before I do that, which I didn't do that because these dogs are driving me crazy barking, I, um, I distress the, um, I can't find my distress tool here, let's see. I distress the edges with the ink. And I had that with me. Oh, I have it over here. And I was working before when I was getting my order ready and I distressed the edges a little bit. I left it on my desk over there. So, <clears throat> I just distressed the edges. And you see how I distress the edges and just a little tiny bit on the back, not too much. Just for the edge. So now I also um I take a piece of this stamp with this French script on it. Is it French? No, it's not. But I will take it. And um, I use a different, this one is the one I just used, which is cocoa. This one is the pot and soil. It's a little darker. I can use this one. Make sure the writing is um, not upside down when you're going to stamp around, around the tag like this.
And then you take a ribbon of your choice. And um, cut it with your scissors. And you make a nice free gift. And I just stamp like a couple of different ones, like three or four, and then I send that and maybe some cards. And the package will be a nice gift there in their package that they can use. This tag can be for journaling. It can be for gift giving, for your packages, lots of stuff. And see how nice it looks. And um, I usually keep these little strips also of these little rhinestones. And, um, you know, you can also use it. You can do this too. Um, peel it off. And then you can put a stone on. You know, you tack it with the with the um the right glue for stones like the the um I forgot what you call that one the glossy accent that's what I use but I'm doing this quick that's why I'm just gonna just do a demonstration just to to show you how nice it looks. See it right there and that's uh a nice tip for today. And thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.